لا تنسوا الاعجاب بالفيديو والاشتراك في القناة تشجيعا لنا لنستمر بنشر المزيد ان شاء الله I'm, I'm a hostage and uh, this villa has been converted into a jail. All the windows are barred shut. I can't open any window. Uh, there's five policemen outside and two policewomen inside the house. And uh, I can't even go to date. And I don't know what my conditions will be like after I'm released. Um, so basically I'm a hostage. Um, so when they kidnapped me on March 4, 2018, they put me in Al Awir jail. I was in section 13 and the label outside my room said 291 my cell so i think it was cell 291 or whatever i don't know and they moved me here on may 27 and uh, i've been here ever since so more than a year now i've been by myself solitary confinement um no access to medical help um no trial no charge they want me to break and they want propaganda from me they wanted me to do a video and say that i'm here happily and voluntarily and i refused you know they wanted me to say a lot of things and I refused and um, because I wouldn't cooperate with them because I, I didn't let them break me I'm being punished and um, I don't know what can happen to me and how long this will last and if they decide to release me like how my life will be but um, every day I am worried about my safety and my life um, don't really know if I'm going to survive the situation uh, the police threatened me that they would take me outside and shoot me if I didn't cooperate with them they also threatened me that I'll be in prison my whole life and I'll never see the sun again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really uh, reaching a point now where I'm just getting so tired of everything. It's like a circus. Um, they're just trying to use propaganda. As much as I just want my passport and to be free. I don't want to be a hostage in this jail villa and I don't want to be a hostage in this country. I just want to be free. So the, the situation is getting more desperate every day. If we might start with this, the, the case of uh, the missing uh, Princess Latifa. What is the British government's position on this? Well, look, you can only watch the footage that you've just shown, Niall, and uh, uh, see that there's very distressing uh, uh, pictures, a very difficult case, um, and I, I think it is concerning. Uh, we always raise human rights issues with all of our partners. لنستمر بنشر المزيد إن شاء الله